What up fam, this is Mr. Vankovich coming to you live with another sick physics related video tutorial, this time on the Vernier Video Analysis app. Before we get started, don't forget to smash that subscribe button down below if you like content like this, because we have plenty more physics related, Logger Pro related, and Vernier related content coming down the pipeline, and you really don't want to miss that. In all seriousness though, I did want to make a quick tutorial about the Vernier Video Analysis app because it basically does the same thing as the Logger Pro Video Analysis. However, it's a little faster, easier to use, and it works with all computers, which makes life a lot easier. So the first thing you want to do to access this is you can either check an email that I sent to you if you were, are one of my students, but if you're a member of the general public, um, it is videoanalysis.app will take you there. And then the first thing that you will be prompted to do is import some type of video. So ideally you already have a video on your computer that you want to analyze. I have one in my downloads folder and I hit open and here I am. Um, this video is just a lacrosse ball rolling across the floor. Looks like that. And we want to analyze it. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to basically find the frame where I want to start the analysis. This is where the event occur or where the event begins and I will pick I will start right there. I'm going to go down to system and then scale should be selected. You always want to have an object of known length in your frame. So this ruler I know is 0.3 meters and now we are good to go. Um, I also can set the origin. If you look at this video, actually you can tell that um, the perspe perspective isn't perfect. It's a little curved, so I can rotate my frame of reference ever so slightly so things look like they're moving horizontally. Um, next, I'm going to go up to add, and there are a couple options that I can do here when I want to actually do the analysis. First of all, I could uh, click and drag. You know, you click on the center of the ball, and every single time you click, the video will advance one frame creating the video analysis. Um, if I mess up, you can go to edit and you can actually grab a point and drag it up to the top into the trash to get rid of it. Um, but the video analysis app also has some really cool other ways in which I can do this. If I go to add and I go to track, I can basically grab the ball or grab as much of the ball as I can. And this only works in a, a nice high contrast sort of environment. So, you know, right now I have the orange lacrosse ball against kind of a black background. Like this is gonna track really well. Um, not everything tracks really well. And if the auto tracking doesn't work, you might need to actually manual track. Um, but let's see if the auto tracking will work. Once I have the object that I would like to track selected, you hit start auto tracking and it follows it. And it did a pretty good job. Um, once we get here, uh, we are pretty much done with the video, so I can go up to this button over here where it says view options and I can get rid of the video. So now I have the graph as well as the data table. Um, my object moved in the negative direction, which is why my graph is moving like this and that's totally fine. Um, video analysis also works in two dimensions. It tells me the X horizontal motion of the ball as well as the vertical or Y motion of the ball. In this scenario, I don't care about the Y motion. So if I click over here, I can get rid of that. So now I only have the X coordinates, which I care about. Um, looking over here at the data, we can see um, I have the time data, the horizontal position data, the vertical position data, as well as the velocities in both directions. Um, in this experiment, I would only care about the X's, but there may be times where you care about the Y's. Um, with a data table like this, you kind of have two options. Option A is you can um, screenshot this. I could probably you know, make, make it a little bigger screenshot it, put it in a lab report like that. You also could copy the columns like so and paste those into an Excel spreadsheet if you wanted to do it that way as well. Those are kind of your two options with data. Um, in the graph, there's many things I can do if I click down here for the graph options button. Um, if I wanted to grab some information, like statistics will tell me, you know, how many data points do I have, what's the mean, median, mode, all of that sort of good stuff. Um, I could do like integrals, curve fits, a few other things. The curve fit button is a button you might use a lot. Um, if I go to curve fit, I could basically pick like a linear or quadratic and there are a few others, but primarily you're gonna use linear or quadratic. If I hit linear and then hit apply, 
it will fit a line to the data and it will give me you know some information it'll give me you know the slope um, it'll give me the R factor, which is basically a measure of like how well does this line fit and an R factor of negative one would be perfect. So we're pretty darn close. And then the RMSE, the root mean square error basically tells you how far away the data points are from the line and you want this number to be as small as possible. So it's doing pretty well. Um, other things I could do if like if some data wasn't what I wanted or something or if I only wanted to fit a line for a little bit I could just select some data points and then do the exact same curve fit and that would um, only fit a line now to this part of the data uh, which I don't need to do here but there might be some times where you need to do that. Um, once I have a graph with a linear fit and all that, you can screenshot that, save it for your lab report, do whatever else you want to do. You also can save um, up here. I would definitely encourage you to use the save as, save this as something, and it will save as a VMBL file, which can be accessed by the Vernier Video Analysis app. You can save it to wherever you want to, and this allows you to access it after the fact. Um, if you really mess up and you want to start over, the new experiment option lets you do that. And I think that's really about it. Um, I hope you enjoyed this quick tutorial on Vernier video analysis, and I hope to see you in the near future. Thank you so much for watching.